Hello friends, my name is Jaivir and today we are going to learn about something related to finite element method which is termed as a FEM. So this, uh, the question is given here and which what is required, which is required u2 and u3 value, the nodal displacement at point number 2 and point number 3 and k1 is the, the stiffness of the element 1 and stiffness of the element 2 as well the uh, force at the node number 2 and force at the node number 3 are given in this uh, data and it is two element system when the node number 1 is attached to the fixed support so in order to answer this question only this much calculation is required this is very basic question of the finite element method those who are studying it first time for them this, uh, this example is the best example to be understood or to begin with the uh, understanding of the finite element method. So let's uh, let's look at the answer. This answer contains something 50 minus 50 or one matrix, another matrix and the third matrix. And then the, the multiplication of the matrix, the equation obtained from the matrix are mentioned here in order to find out the answer of u2 and u3, not of this place but u2 and u3. So the, suddenly the question arises in our mind that how this matrix is prepared, what is the theory behind this matrix, correct? So in order to answer this question, I have taken two different different aspects. First of all we are taking for a single system element, for a single element, I am taking one element as a spring element which is having two node 1 and 2 with the stiffness k1. At node number 1 the displacement is u1, at node number 2 the displacement is u2 and the force is acting on the point number 1 and the force is acting on the point number 2. So now, as per the stiffness equation, stiffness is equal to force upon deflection. So force is equal to stiffness into deflection. So F2 will be K1 into delta where delta is equal to u2 minus u1 because we are taking the force at node number that's why the deflection of the node number 2 minus deflection of the node number 1. In the, uh, for the equilibrium condition, there are two conditions will be there. The horizontal force should be 0 and the vertical force should be 0. Sigma EH is equal to 0, sigma EV is equal to 0. So, from that equation, sigma EH is equal to 0 where two horizontal forces are acting on this element. That's why F1 plus F2 is equal to 0. Both are acting in the same direction. That's why it is taken as the addition. So F1 is equal to minus F2 which is also is equal to K1 into I, either you can say that U1 minus U2 because we are taking the force at the node number 1 so definitely the U1 the deflection of the node number 1 and minus the deflection of the node number 2 it means the uh, deflection of the node number 2 should be subtracted from the deflection of the node number 1 because we are considering here force F1 and when we are considering the force F2 then the deflection of the node number 2 minus deflection of the node number 1 so deflection of the node number 1 should be subtracted, subtracted from the deflection of the node number 2 in case of F2 so uh, but from these two equation uh, if I want to represent these two equation in terms of matrices that will govern, my, govern me K1 K1 U1 minus K1 U2 is equal to F1. So K1 U1 minus K1 U2 is equal to F1 and minus K1 U1 plus K1 U2 is equal to F2. So here it is also minus, uh, minus K1 U1 plus K1 U2 is equal to F2. So this is the stiffness matrix for node only one element. This is the nodal displacement matrix for the one element and this force matrix for the one element. Now in the data it is given, we require two elements, consider two element. So for the two element, the figure is generated in this manner. The node numbers will be 1 to 2 for the K1 and 2 to 3 for the K2. It means the the first element is having K1 stiffness, U1, U2 displacement, node number 1, 2 and F1, F2 force and the second element having the stiffness of the K2 with U2 and U3 displacement, F2 and F3 force. 
and dividing these elements into further into subdivision. So in which what I am taking the F1 force and the F2 force. Generally, particularly this F2 force and this U2 displacement are divided into two parts. It means the F2 force acting on the body number one or say element number one, and the F2 force is acting on the element number two. I differentiated it here it as a F2 one and F2 two. So I am discretizing this element into single single one. So the first element having F11 force and F21 force, U11 displacement and U21 displacement, and K1 stiffness. And I am applying this uh, this theory here. So it will give me the uh, give me the matrix in terms of K1 minus K1 minus K1 K1 from this equation. U11 U21 is equal to F11 F21. This is equation number one or for the element number one. So this discretization of the two element. And the another element in which the force F22 is acting, the displacement U22 is acting, non number 2, 3 will be there, and K2 is the matrix, and U32 is the displacement, and F32 is the point force at the next point. So, in, for that purpose, for this particular figure, I am applying this the same theory. So, it will give me the K2 minus K2 minus K2, K2, U22 for the second element, U32, F22, and F32 for the second element. Now we are knowing that the deflection at node number 1, u11 is equal to capital U1, nodal displacement at the node, uh, node number 1. The u21 and the u22 are equivalent because it is the displacement at node number 2, which is also equal to the global, the nodal displacement of u2. And u32 is equal to u3. And force here, mind well, the force of element number 1 is equal to f1, the f21 plus f22. Then the force acting at the node number 2 or F21 plus F22 is together it is equal to F2 in addition of that. Here it is equivalent sign but here it is the addition of that. Okay, So mind well, this is the major part here. And F32 is equal to F3. So from the above two equations if I want to prepare one uh, common matrices so it will give me K1 minus K10 minus K1 K1. And the u2, u2, 3, u3 part, k2 minus k2 minus k2, k2. This more the terms will be 0. u1, u2, u3 is equal to f1, f2, f3. This is called the element stiffness matrix. Two element stiffness matrix. u is the nodal displacement matrix. And f the force matrix. So from this equation, if I am putting k1 is equal to 50 and k2 is equal to 75. And f2 and f3 is equal to 7, uh, 75 as well. And u1 is equal to 0 because the non 1 is attached to the fixed support. So, from this uh, theory, one could, uh, one could predict that uh, the, uh, the equation of we, what we want to find out u2 and u3. So, what should be the equation? 50 into 0 plus minus 50 into u2 is equal to f1. So, this is first equation, this would be the second equation, minus 50 into 0 plus 50 plus 75 is equal to 125 into u2 minus 75 into u3 is equal to 75 and third equation 0 to 0 minus 75 into u2 plus 75 into u3 is equal to 75. So this is two equation and there are two unknowns u2 and u3 so you are able to find out the value of u2 and u3 out of it and this uh, after obtaining the value of u2 you are able to find out the force acting on the non number one. So this is simple and very basic theory. Sometimes it happens uh, nobody are discussing this theory, and due to this, uh, due to not discussing this theory, this finite element method becomes so complicated so that the student can't understood the simple meaning of the finite element method, which is nothing but the deflection is equal to stiffness into force. Stiffness uh, force divided by stiffness means the deflect uh, stiffness is equal to force upon deflection. From this base, this theory is beginning. That simple spring element is discussed in this video, which is very very useful and uh, even I, whenever I want to revise something, I need to revise this theory first. Then and then I can uh, proceed in the finite element method. Thank you very much for viewing this video. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe. Thank you.